this video, we're going to take a look at an average value question, pretty common in a Calc 1 class. All right, and the reason that um, I continually go over this and make a lot of videos on this is because I have a lot of my students get this average value confused with the average rate of change. All right, this is not the average rate of change formula that you learned in a pre-calc class. The average value of a function, you're going to put that 1 over b minus a in front of your integral. Okay, so it's the 1 over the b minus a in front of the integral that's going from a to b of your function. All right, so that's the formula that you really have to utilize here. Okay, so uh, my a is 1 and my b is 2. So for my average value on this one, I'm going to have a 1 over a 2 minus 1. I'm going to integrate from 1 to 2. My function is the 1 over x and then dx. All right, now this one's a pretty straightforward integration here. We know this is the natural log absolute value of x. All right, 2 minus 1 is just going to give me a 1 here in front. So then I'm going to have the natural log absolute value of x. And then we need to evaluate that from 1 to 2. Okay. Going ahead and plugging 2 in, I'll have natural log. Absolute value of 2 is 2, so I'm going to drop the absolute value bars. And then plugging in the 1, absolute value of 1 is 1, so I'll have natural log of 1. This is going to need to be where you've got the natural log of 1 memorized to be 0, so that basically falls out. We have an overall average value of this function on this interval being the natural log of 2. All right, so it's a kind of straightforward problem as long as you are making sure you do the right thing. So like I said, in my classes, students will often confuse average value with average rate of change. Okay, so uh, just memorizing the formula is going to help a lot on this. Definitely, thanks for watching. Um, if the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.